Hey guys, this is Sam here. Uh, welcome to yet another video on uh, AWS Learning Series. Today we will be covering uh, AWS Compute Service. We have already seen uh, AWS Global Infrastructure and Networking and Content Delivery. And under AWS Compute, we have got uh, five different offerings. First one being EC2, uh, followed by EC2 Container Service. We have uh, something called as Elastic Beanstalk. We have Lambda and the latest addition to this is uh, Lightseal, which was announced uh, in reInvent 2016 and it is available in uh, AWS service. So let's start with EC2. EC2, it's one of the you know popular service of AWS. Uh, you know, most of the people are using uh, EC2 who are on AWS services and uh, this is heavily dependent upon uh, virtualization concept. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud basically it's the virtual servers on the cloud you get to uh, spin up or you get to you know scale uh, uh, up and down uh, between you know virtual servers uh, in just a few seconds in a matter of a few seconds you can launch your own uh, uh, instance uh, server instance you get to choose uh, the os version you get to choose the memory parameters and so on so that's that offering from aws is uh, known as ec2 then we have something called as EC2 Container Service. So EC2 Container Service, it's basically EC2, uh, which is configured uh, for uh, Docker. So Docker, if, if you guys are not familiar with it, it's, it's a popular service uh, uh, these days, which is uh, using container virtualization concept. So to run and manage Docker, uh, you have uh, Docker containers, you have this uh, offering from AWS EC2 Container Service. So this doesn't come in the exam as of today, but uh, you know uh, at least uh, having a uh, brief overview it is good and then we have something called as a elastic beanstalk and this is very minimal and uh, you need to only know it in a high level what exactly is this and uh, what what is this capable of that's it for the exam perspective so elastic beanstalk uh, it's a way you run and manage web applications so if you are a developer just upload the code and uh, amazon does the code validation and uh, Amazon identifies and provisions underlying resources for that requirement. That's the uh, Elastic Beanstalk offering from AWS. Then we have something called as Lambda. It's another, uh, you know, wonderful, uh, that's what I would say. Uh, it is a huge and, uh, you know, um, a trend setting, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, offering from uh, AWS. This helps, to, helps you to, you know, run the code without thinking or without worrying about the underlying servers and the infrastructure. You don't need to think about uh, the underlying servers or uh, anything. Just worry about the code, get it done and uh, submit it to AWS. So, uh, one of the, you know, this is one of the powerful and expanding area of AWS. And again, uh, from the exam perspective, it is very minimal because it, it, it's a huge, uh, you know, uh, uh, topic and uh, it doesn't even feature in the exam heavily. But I have a strong feeling that uh, this will be the uh, number one area down the line. Yeah, uh, so talking about Lambda, uh, this is also known as a serverless uh, architecture. Uh, you only think about the code and uh, whenever your uh, you know, code is running, you get to, uh, you will be only charged for the code uh, execution time, that's it. And LightSail, it is relatively a new service, uh, which was, you know, uh, launched a few days back uh, and uh, this was announced as part of a uh, reinvent 2016. This service will allow you to uh, launch and manage your own virtual private servers. That's all about uh, light sale, but it doesn't even uh, come in the exam since it is relatively new. And that's all I have got for now, guys. Uh, those are the you know compute offerings. And uh, do subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and uh, like if you really like this video. Uh, do you know drop a comment or a message uh, if you have any questions or queries uh, we will be you know more than happy to help you on that and uh, that's all guys um, uh, see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching